This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeff Blunt, best-selling author of People Buy You, and I'm here to help you knock down more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. On this episode, you're going to learn how ultra-high performers bend win probability in their favor to gain a competitive advantage. And one of the tools that we use to bend win probability in our favor at my company, Sales Gravy, is Discover Org. Discover Org is the rocket fuel that has accelerated our growth. With Discover Org, we get an endless stream of high-quality leads that have been verified by a real person. And with a 95% accuracy rate, we don't waste any time or money chasing down bad data. I love Discover Org, and I can't imagine life without them. And this is why Discover Org is one of the only sales tools that I recommend in my new book, Sales EQ. To learn more about Discover Org and how they can help your company, go to www.discover.org. That's www.discover.org. Now, I also want you to go right now and pick up my new book, Sales EQ. Sales EQ became the number one best selling book in sales only four hours after it was released. And you can pick it up right now at Barnes & Noble or wherever books are sold online. Imagine that you're standing in the doorway to a large room. At the far end are two identical dollar slot machines. As you walk in the room, an attendant hands you a single dollar coin. You're offered the choice to play either machine, and you'll get to keep the original coin plus any winnings. As you walk towards the machines, you notice something curious. Above each one, there's a sign with a number on it. One sign reads 93 and the other 33. You turn back to the room attendant and ask while pointing up at the signs, what do those numbers mean? The attendant smiles. Smart of you to ask. Most people never do. Those signs indicate the win probability of each machine. On the first machine, you have a 93% probability that you will win your dollar back plus more. And with the second machine, you only have a 33% chance of winning. In other words, a 66% chance of losing. So which machine will you choose? Well, of course, it's a no-brainer because the smart bet is on the machine that gives you the highest probability of winning. And this is how ultra-high performers play the game of sales. They manage win probability. In sales, there is no one-size-fits-all solution for every situation. Complex sales are different from one call closes. Calling on a business is different from selling a car. Selling software requires a different skill set than selling office automation equipment. In sales, context matters. Every prospect, sales conversation, territory, company, and product is different and requires salespeople to adapt and adjust to those unique situations. There is no black and white. There is no easy button that will make sales work perfectly every time. In some situations, you'll do something completely inappropriate and still manage to close the deal. In others, you'll run the sales process like a textbook and fall flat on your face. It's what I find so beautiful about the sales profession. There are no guarantees, no magic pills, and no holy grail. There is only poetry and probability. There is poetry in emotion. Emotion is the glue that connects all the disparate elements of the sales equation. Emotion is sales process agnostic. It influences sales outcomes across industry verticals, deal complexity, inside sales, or field sales, and any product or service in both business-to-business and the consumer environments. It's the ability to manage and leverage emotion that creates the highest statistical chance of winning that separates ultra-high performers from everyone else. You see, ultra-high performers never forget that they're dealing with emotional, fallible, irrational human beings, and they work hard to gain a deep understanding of the motivations, desires, needs, wants, fears, aspirations, and problems of each stakeholder in their deal. It's mastery of sales-specific emotional intelligence, or sales EQ, that explains why one person becomes an ultra-high sales performer while another is just average, even though the intellectual ability and knowledge of the two people are equal. You see, ultra-high performers are virtuosos with people. They shift win probabilities in their favor through perceiving, controlling, managing, and influencing non-conforming, irrational human emotions. They possess a toolbox full of influence frameworks along with the agility to apply them in any situation to improve the probability of getting the outcome that they desire. And let's be crystal clear. 
your ability to shape and influence win probabilities is the only reason you have a sales job. Consider a potential buyer opening your company's website to look for a product. And if when they open the page, the probability that they click on a buy button and enter a credit card and make a purchase is north of 80%, you would be unemployed. Your company would need only to focus its resources on getting more potential buyers to that page. Purely transactional purchases like this don't require salespeople to shape the win probability. However, the more complex the sale, the longer the sales cycle, the higher the dollar amount, the greater the risk to the stakeholders, and the more emotions that are involved in the decision to purchase, the more companies need salespeople like you who are intelligent, creative, insightful, influential, and persuasive to shift win probability in the organization's favor. Of course, sales would be so much easier if there were signs over prospects indicating win probability. But prospects are not slot machines, and unlike slot machines, in sales, win probability is fluid, complex, and influenced by many variables. And it's impossible to know with certainty, of course, until the deal is either lost or won. It's for this reason that ultra-high sales performers take nothing for granted. They're constantly checking, testing, and analyzing where they stand with the opportunities in their pipeline. And while average salespeople look in awe at the performance of ultra-high performers, believing that ultra-high performers have somehow defied the odds, the truth is that UHPs are perfectionists, managing every element within their control to shape and influence and bend the odds in their favor. If you're ready to learn more of the secrets and techniques and skills of ultra-high performers, go pick up my brand new book, Sales EQ. You can find it in any Barnes & Noble store and wherever books are sold online. And make sure to go check out my friends at Discover.org. Just go to www.discover.org.com. 